Naz, I don't know how to start this video. I'll be honest with you, I don't know how to start this video. I've never seen a performance so bad by people wearing this badge. I'm serious. I've never seen a performance that bad. I don't know. I don't know if Lampard got his tactics wrong. I don't know if the players were not focused enough. There were so many things wrong with that result, with that match. I don't know where to start, lads. I don't know where to start. Listen, we're going to dissect this game. We're going to dissect this game. And I'm going to talk about players. I'm going to name players. Players who did not deserve to wear this badge. Players who should not wear this badge moving forwards. I don't care if I'm going to get hate for it. It's just the way I see it, lads. And for me, I want to put my point across and I want to say it as it is. I'm a Chelsea fan. And today I was hurt. Today I was offended. Today I was insulted by what I saw my players doing today. So lads, before we get into this video, subscribe, like, comment and share. I'd appreciate that. Now let's jump in. Okay, okay, Sunday League, Sunday League football, no disrespect to all those Sunday League players, but Sunday League football, they know how to defend a cross when it's coming in. When is Chelsea going to learn to defend a cross coming into their box? When is our defenders going to understand that they have to mark either zonal marking or man marking? Pick one, pick one and do it right. We didn't see none of that. When that ball came in for the second goal, I didn't see a single Chelsea player jump to header it out. Attempt to header it out. What were you lads playing at? Kepa, you're going to parry the ball. Make sure you parry it away from the oncoming attacker. Now, I understand it was a deflected shot, but you managed to get a hand on it. Push it away from the oncoming attackers, man. What is Jorginho playing at? I'm serious, what is Jorginho playing at? I didn't see Jorginho pass the ball forward once. Sideways, backwards. When he passes it forwards, it's a long ball. And one that isn't accurate. Passes it too hard, away from the player. The player has to run to get that ball. What was Jorginho playing at? Mate, if you're unhappy with Chelsea, don't stick around. Go elsewhere. I'm serious. Jorginho, people were calling out your name when we have people in the stands. You remember? Jorginho, Jorginho. People were happy to have you on that pitch wearing our colours. Don't disrespect us, man. You're not happy with the way you've been treated? You have issues right now? Sort it out or move on, mate. This club is bigger than Jorginho. Tammy Abraham. Look, Tammy Abraham. I have shown Tammy Abraham a lot of respect. I have shown Tammy Abraham a lot of respect because I think the man had a hard time. The man had a problem. The man was injured. The man didn't recover fully. The man was pushed. The man played through the pain barrier. But if the man isn't ready, he shouldn't be playing. Giroud should have started that match today. Because Tammy Abraham did not have this tied onto his shoulders, man. He was there in body, but he was not there in mind. He was elsewhere. I'm serious, man. Tammy Abraham has a problem right now. He's always late to the party. He's always a couple of seconds too late. His reaction isn't there, man. His reaction isn't there. Pulisic was always ahead of him. Pulisic, the winger, the inverted winger today, he always seemed to be ahead of our striker. Our striker was always late coming to the party, man. Pulisic was getting his head to crosses while Tammy Abraham was watching the ball go over his head. Why is that? Why is that? There was some good bits of play in that match. There was some good bits of play in that match. There was three players, for me, that really earned my respect. Reese James, Pulisic, 
Not everyone's going to agree with this one, but I definitely thought Ross Barkley put in a shift today. Ross Barkley really tried hard today, and I respect him for that. Not everything he tried works out. Ross Barkley has bad games. Ross Barkley has some issues when it comes to decision making. We all know that. But the man's heart was in the game today. The man was motivated today. The man was playing for the badge today. And that's all I asked for the man to do, to play for the Chelsea badge. If we lose and we play well, no worries, man. It is what it is, we did our best. But if we lose and we play like that, lads, I'm sorry. Is it just me? But Chelsea were not playing well today. There was no tactics out there, man. And I'm sorry to say this, but Lampard, your substitutions, your team selection, <sighs> Lampard, Lampard, I have nothing but respect for Lampard. I have nothing but love for Lampard. But today, your tactics were not on point, mate. I'm sorry. I know it's easy for me to say this because I'm watching the game after and I've seen the result and hindsight is a... Hindsight is hindsight, I know. I understand that, but Lampard, mate, why wasn't Giroud starting this match? Now, I don't know the situation with Copper, but you said Copper was, you know, he was back, he was fit. Why wasn't Copper on that pitch today? Because Jorginho clearly has issues, mate. Jorginho clearly has issues. And Lampard, Chelsea, our club, Marina, Abramovich, whoever's listening, if anyone is listening, we need to get ourselves a defender. We need to get ourselves a goalkeeper. You know what? Let's cut our losses with Kepa. Let's cut the losses. I don't care. We. We'll, I don't care that we spent 70 odd million on the man. We shouldn't stop for another season with Kepa between the sticks. Let's cut the losses and let's move on. Kepa isn't. Kepa is not our level. Kepa is not Premier League level. I'm sorry. Maybe Kepa would do good in Spain. Maybe he'd do good elsewhere, but he's, he's not Premier League level, man. I'm sorry. We made a mistake. Let's acknowledge the mistake. And let's move on and get a good goalkeeper because Kepa is not a good goalkeeper. We are in serious trouble right now. We are in serious trouble right now. Right now, Champions League football may not be coming now. Champions League football is far away right now. I'm serious. We will not be seeing Champions League football at the bridge next season. We got a uphill task ahead of us. You know what? Lampard said something that made a lot of sense. Lampard said, our future is in our own hands. We control our own destiny. So why the hell did we lose to Sheffield United today? We just threw away the destiny that we were controlling. That was in our own hands. Now we have no control over our destiny. Because if other results go a different way, no matter what happens from here on onwards, even if we win every single game, we're not getting to the Champions League. I know there's people out there saying Champions League football, we can go a season without da 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 da. Yeah, we can go another season without Champions League football. We can't go back to watching Thursday night football on Channel 5 or whatever it is these days. We can do that. We can watch the Europa Cup and watch Chelsea in the Europa Cup for another season. We can do that. But why should we have to do that when we have the ability to play in the Champions League? And with the players that have come in and the players that can be coming in, we could be contenders next season. Why don't we give ourselves the opportunity next season? Why are we going to be sitting back watching X, Y and Z team in the Champions League and we're going to be sitting there watching them play? Lads, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is a very negative video and a video that I did not want to make. Um, I'm probably going to get a lot of dislikes. I'm going to get a lot of hate. I'm going to get a lot of bad comments. But lads, I see it as I see it. I tell you what I see. And if that means I'm going to be... And if that means people are going to like it, then it is where it is. I see it like I see it. I say it like I see it. 
lads, on a on a positive note, on a positive note, I want to say welcome to Hakim Ziyech. Welcome. Welcome to the Pride of London. Welcome to Chelsea Football Club. Welcome to the best team in the capital. Welcome Hakim Ziyech. And I hope, I hope the future of Chelsea will be a more positive one, a more productive one, a more attractive one with players like Hakim Ziyech and Timo Warner at the helm in attack. I'm going to conclude this video with some pictures that were published today by Chelsea of Hakim's first training session. That's going to be the way I'm going to conclude the video today. So if you haven't seen these pictures, you will see them at the end of this video. I want to say thank you to everyone who has watched my video. And if you stuck around to the end, appreciate you. If you haven't subscribed, consider it. Thank you very much. Hopefully the next game will be a better one. Uh, sorry if I've uh, offended anyone. It wasn't my intention. Have a great day, lads. I'll catch you in my next video. Peace out.